Hello everyone, I am the Chocolat, God is the Thunder, because of that I'll never go under. Let me just keep it 100 with y'all, can I keep it thorough with y'all? Ooh, wearing my hair, oh my goodness. It is really, mm, I can tell y'all this, it's not as easy as it looks and believe me, in my mind I'm hearing, girl, what is you doing? You need to go and run and get you a wig as soon as possible. I don't care how comfortable it is, but I'm like, nope. I'm like the Lord. I'm taking God at his word. The Lord told me to stop wearing those wigs for real. He said that he would help me make my hair grow. And you know what? I'm going to take God at his word. Y'all see? One of the reasons why I placed the clip in my hair, because I'm not going to be going around looking like a man. I'm not no man. I'm a woman. And I want to make sure i look 100 percent feminine that's the god's honest truth um anyway y'all but it's a you know it is a it's a battle okay it's a battle my spirit is willing but my flesh sure ain't my flesh is like girl get yourself you you better get you a wig like forget all of that but i'm gonna stick i'm gonna stick this out with god it's been too many years that i have really um conditioned my mind to believe that my short hair is is nothing it's too it's been too many years i conditioned myself to believe that so now i have to with the holy spirit i gotta uncondition my mind in that regard so just wanted to share that with y'all so ladies if you too are going through a transition where now you're wearing your your real hair and maybe your real hair is not long i just want to let you know be encouraged and just hang on in there be encouraged okay be encouraged and um you know pray about it pray about it because god will god will see you through he'll help you out he will i'm just being obedient right now i'm going with god for real you know he told me to do this in my life before and i'll jump right back to those wigs but nope this time i'm gonna stick this out i don't care how you know how people might look at me or whatever and say whatever their little smart little nasty comments are i do not care because i know who i am in god i know whose i am in god i know what i am i know why i am and i know where i am in god and it's as simple as that so keep on keeping on like the mothers of the church would say keep on keeping on just keep on keeping on whatever it is in your life that you know that god has told you to stop doing okay and your flesh is like no you want to keep on doing it but you know in your heart that the lord told you to stop doing it ask the holy spirit for help because let me tell you something your flesh is going to battle you because let me tell you i'm gonna keep it real my flesh has said to me you look so much prettier with them wigs girl i don't know what you think you're doing you look so much prettier with hair my flesh has said that to me. My flesh has said to me, girl, you look like a god with your hair so short. But you know what? I'm not listening to that negativity. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I bond it up in Jesus' name. And it's as simple as that. And that's what you got to do. D-L-T-T-D. Don't listen to that devil. That's what I tell myself. Don't listen to that devil. All right, y'all. Be blessed. Bye now.